Que não há bloco. Because it wouldn't be an Eric the Electric video without this, right? Alrighty guys, so it is about 9.45 right now, heading into work. Probably go through about two of these today. It's gonna be another long day, but hopefully a good one. See you guys in a little bit. I'll forever love peanut butter. The classics. How the fuck do you expect to get fucking confident, you shit cunt? Do it fuck all. Oh no shit. What's Ending the day with some glucose network up in here. And of course, you guys can't forget crispy tofu, Brussels sprouts, and I'm actually trying broccolini, I think it's called. So I did that as well. Tofu gains. Alrighty guys, tonight we're gonna be trying out the Power O's uh, chocolate uh, garbanzo bean cereal. Now, I actually tried out a few reviews ago, I tried out the normal flake version of this, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, this is chocolate flavor. So I'm very excited to actually see how this tastes. Uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Alrighty folks, let's try this out. I feel like this is a, a less dense version of chocolate Cheerios. Really, to be honest, I have really nothing else to compare it to besides chocolate Cheerios. Flavor-wise, it's like a cross between chocolate Cheerios and um, um, Cocoa Pebbles. The sweetness really isn't there for me though. I would say if you're a Cocoa Pebbles fan, go for this cereal. If you're expecting more chocolate Cheerios, stick to chocolate Cheerios. Final rating for me on this one, it's gonna be five and a half out of 10. What's going on everybody? What you're seeing is my workout from two days ago. Um, this is actually uh, my first time doing a real full body workout in quite a long time. Uh, and actually went pretty well. I did everything full body except squats because I did uh, squats. I squatted the day before that, I believe. So anyways, it was awesome. Uh, I actually kept deadlifts uh, pretty moderate during that set. I didn't go, I didn't go extremely heavy. Uh, I just wanted to see how it felt really, just kind of play around, try new things. And uh, like I said in my last video, I'm keeping things somewhat light for now. Um, actually gonna be having a, a pretty big week next week. So I'm planning on do, ramping up the weight tremendously. Uh, I wanted to kind of just, you know, experiment with a few different things, practice. Um, other than that, I mean, it wasn't really anything to, uh, you know, take note of. There wasn't really anything important that happened. I will say though, if you guys, um, what do you guys think of my footage? Like, do you guys want me to put up more footage? Because I pretty much only film my compound lifts. I don't really film much else. I don't really see a point really that's, those are the things I care about most. I care about my squat, the bench, my deadlift, and my overhead press. So I don't really film my curls, my accessory work, or um, you know my tricep extensions or my core uh, core stuff. I do occasionally, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you want me to film more of that. Uh, other than that, stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. See ya. This is why more people need to ride bicycles. Damn traffic. All right, everybody, so um, actually off work early today. Uh, my first time getting off early in a while. And uh, I really wanted to talk about what's gonna happen, or what's planning to happen. 
So next week is my spring break, and I posted in my last little vlog and kind of let everybody know I was kind of burnt out and uh, I go to work and it's pretty much the same thing every day. So I took it upon myself to, uh, to ask for a break, really. So I'm actually gonna get three days off next week. And I'm really, 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 really excited about it. If I don't wanna fly anywhere, I don't really wanna spend too, too much money, but I definitely think it's worth it to go have a good time and enjoy myself because I don't do that a lot. Uh, so I wanna go to anywhere, any of those places which would be really, really cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanna tell you guys. Alrighty guys, so it's about 7.30 right now. It is, it is Thursday night. I live stream on Thursday nights as well. More importantly, I made a small grocery haul, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let's do it. Now, I'm actually gonna start eating more Cheerios. Uh, just not, not just because I love the taste, but because uh, they are fortified with vitamin B12. Very, very important to have your vitamin B12. So in case you guys didn't know, pro tip to all of you uh, plant-based vegan eaters out there, uh, and you love breakfast cereal, try to get those that are fortified with B12 if you don't already take a B12 supplement. That being said, moving on, uh, just ran out. This is gonna be the Kroger um, brand of Mrs. Dash, essentially, so zesty garlic, black beans, standard stuff, tofu, the deal, the random tofu, standard. Yeah, I blew it. I got honey instead, but oh well. Um, Diet A&W, my jam. This stuff is actually really good. I like this uh, flavor, vanilla almond coconut. So I'll give that a shot if you guys haven't already. Strong, 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 strong. We have for dinner tonight about a pound and a half of broccoli. And I'm also gonna be roasting some fajita mix. So some red onions, peppers, uh, manager special. So I figured I'd jump on that. I'm gonna roast those, see how those turn out. We have Good old fashioned chopped dates. So I got chopped dates as opposed to normal dates. Um, I was always curious as to why they, so they chop them up and the white texture on the outside is actually, I believe it's just sugar. So dried dates and dextrose. I have no idea why you would want to put more sugar on dates as they're already really, really sweet, but I, uh, you know, I don't know. That's just me. So uh, that's that. And then last but not least, we have sweet potato puffs. I'm gonna give these ones a shot. They look pretty good. You guys know I love my sweet potatoes, so that's that. Stay tuned for the live stream, guys. And shout out to everybody in the live stream right now. Say hello. So we have um, Brad, April Young. Let's see, Fernando, Katie May, um, world class douchebag. All the regulars are in popping into the live stream. Say hello. Um, we're about to get down right now. Enjoy some food. Amazingness right now. Damn, that is mind blowing. Oh, look what we have here. A package from the guys at Silly Core. Let's open it up and see what we got. Woo! The casein from Silly Core. I am, my, my mind is blown right now, guys. Absolutely blown. Well, we have Mass Gainer. That's sick. Can't say that I'm gonna have really a use for a gainer, but I uh, might do a special giveaway. Stay tuned, guys. Alrighty, guys, tonight I'm gonna be trying out Cellucor's brand new, yes, this is brand new 
uh, their casein protein that they just came out with. They just launched their new line, so I'm really, really excited to try this out. This is the chocolate flavor. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, this is the official taste test of the Cellucor chocolate casein protein powder. Let's do this. That feel when you get off work and Lincoln Park is playing. Oh yeah. Just got off work. Probably gonna be putting this at the end of the video, but I wanted to go over what's gonna happen next week. So if you guys watched my last live stream, you'll know that I'm getting some time off next week. As opposed to just getting Monday and Wednesday off, obviously I'm not gonna have any class or anything, so I, normally I just have both of those days to kinda do whatever I wanna do. Next week, I'm actually gonna be getting Tuesday off. So what I'm gonna be doing is planning a little trip. Originally, I was planning on going to either Santa Monica slash Los Angeles, San Francisco, or Vegas. But you know what, I decided, why not take a trip up the entire West Coast? Start from here in San Diego, go to LA, go to LA, Santa Monica, and finish in San Francisco. That sounds pretty cool. Why not go all out? Why not go do a bunch of food challenges, have the time of my life, go explore different places, possibly go back to Alcatraz. I remember going to Alcatraz as a kid. San Francisco is one of my most favorite cities to visit. Um, but hey, go have a good time, enjoy myself. I'm not gonna make it about food challenges. I'm gonna make it about everything, but just relaxing and having a good time having an actual spring break, which would be really, really awesome. And then that brings me to my next point. And I know what a lot of you are gonna say when you see this video. A lot of my subscribers and a lot of, uh, a lot of my subscribers have been used to seeing me eat primarily vegan or plant-based. And uh, long story short is I'm probably gonna piss a lot of people off with this video, but I'm gonna say right now is I'm not gonna make it about that right now. And uh, you guys will probably like to see the Cellucor review in this video and asking yourself, well, I thought you were vegan. Guys, I never stated I'm a vegan. I have never stated, stated before that I strictly do not eat meat and I try my absolute hardest to cut out any form of dairy, animal products, or anything like that. Uh, but the bottom line is, guys, I mean, during this time, I'm gonna enjoy myself. I still do the most I can to eliminate most of those animal products out of my diet, uh, especially with the Cellucor review. I think a lot of people are probably gonna get rubbed the wrong way, but the bottom line is, I don't eat like this every single day. Uh, I definitely had to try out this new Cellucor product. So that's it, uh, that's what I had to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, don't hate me too much, not really. Love you guys, stay tuned for the next one.